Queen Elizabeth II will be laid to rest, after a state funeral attended by leaders from around the world and a historic last ceremonial journey through the packed streets of London. Huge crowds gathered in near silence to watch as the Queen's flag-draped coffin, topped with the imperial state crown, her orb and scepter, was carried slowly to a gun carriage from Parliament's Westminster Hall where it had lain in state since Wednesday. To the tune of pipes and drums, the gun carriage, used at every state funeral since Queen Victoria's in 1901, was then drawn by 142 junior enlisted sailors in the Royal Navy to Westminster Abbey. The thousand-year-old church's tenor bell rang 96 times at one-minute intervals, one for every year of her life, stopping a minute before the service began. The longest-serving monarch in British history died at Balmoral, her Scottish Highland retreat, on September 8 after a year of declining health. Her eldest son and successor, King Charles III, dressed in ceremonial military uniform, followed the solemn procession, alongside his three siblings. Charles's eldest son Prince William accompanied him alongside William's estranged brother, Prince Harry, and other senior royals. William's two eldest children, George and Charlotte, who are next in line to the throne, also walked behind the coffin inside the abbey. Charles, 73, and his wife, Queen Consort Camilla, said they had been deeply touched by the public's flood of messages.